It's finally a nice sunny day after days and days of rain. I'm taking this opportunity to get out in the garden because I want to make some Christmas wreaths. Just found some ivy. I think that will look really nice. To make my base of my Christmas wreath, I need to find some bendy kind of vines um, that I can sort of twist together to make a nice round circle. And here there's actually a tree which has fallen over, which is covered in ivy. So this is absolutely perfect. It's got plenty of vines left on it. So I just need to find nice big long pieces. Like this. And then I'm gonna strip off all of the leaves. So I'm left with something like something like this. And this is perfect because it's really long. Oh. Right, I need to go and get my hat and scarf, it's way too cold. Okay, that's better. It's getting a little chilly now. I'm a bit scared, we haven't got long before the sun's going down, so let's see how far we can get. I'm gonna to try to at least make the base of my wreath. Got my nice long pieces of ivy. Seriously, why didn't I just buy a ready-made wreath base? It's not perfectly round, but you can kind of bend it into shape. So I'll try to wrap around a few more so I've got a bit more of a solid base and then I need to find some moss. So you see, it's pretty even all the way around. I've got a few little ed edges that are poking out, but it's not too bad. Found some moss, floristry wire. Seriously, ah, here we go, here we go. I'm just gonna take my pieces of moss like this and cover it over the top of my base using my floristry wire just to kind of wrap around it and keep it in place so I can add some water and it will keep it nice and moisturized so it's not going to dry out as quickly. I'm sure that there's some florists out there who would tell me, like Marie Wick, that I'm not doing this right, but maybe you can leave some comments how I can improve my technique for next year. I've just covered it with nice moss with my wire. Now I just need to cut my wire and tie it off and then I've got one of my bases. And then I just need to make a second one because we obviously have two front doors and we need one for each side, otherwise it would look strange. To make my wreath, I'm using some fir tree, which I've taken from our massive Christmas tree in front of the longhouses, and some yew, which I didn't just cut off our brand new hedge. I found it in our woodlands and I know that this is poisonous so you have to be quite careful with it. I mix a little bit of this in with the fur, mini posies like this and then I can wrap those onto my wreath and I'm going to wind my floristry wire around them to keep them in place. This is how the wreath looks once I finish covering it. Now I just need to add a little bit of colour. So I've been foraging in the garden and I've found some ruscus, which is really pretty and it's got some little red berries. Normally I sometimes use holly as well um, because I love the little berries. But for some reason, 
the holly doesn't have any red berries on it this year and I don't know why. Maybe somebody out there knows. Is there a reason why some years they don't produce red berries? Or maybe it will produce it later? I have no idea. And where I've got my wire already here, I can simply just poke it into the wire to sort of find a place where it will hold in place. Ah! The berry fell off again! Seriously. Can I just super glue the berries on? Okay. Maybe we're going to forget about the ruscus. Maybe we're just going to go with this. Let's see. That looks really pretty. I am not a forest, so this is all a little bit DIY. <gasps> ah. Oh, oh. Here they are. Finished. Beautiful. It did take me another whole evening to finish them inside after it got dark. But now they're done. But now they're done. Do we hang them from the little door handles like that? No, is it too low? Yeah, it looks like somebody left them there. <laughs> okay, yeah. I've just got some pins from my pin board. Yeah. How does it look? Very nice. Lovely. So I didn't need my hammer in the end. Oh yeah, I like it. I think it looks really nice. It's looking nice and festive now. Uh, there's one little thing, Anna. What? Can you take over the camera? These mm -hmm. are not straight. You're kidding. No. <laughs> Much better. Look, same here. It's even wrong way. All right. Yeah, I can see that. It's perfect now. I just saved Christmas. What are you doing? Are you doing an influencer pose or something? No, I, I just I observe. I look the beauty of the wreaths. Wreath. Wreaths. Wreaths. <laughs> How? Wreath. 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 Yeah. Wreath. Wreath. I can't hear, is it? Wreath. Wreath. <laughs> With a TH at the end. Wreath. Wreath. Yeah, wreath. Yeah. Yeah. The wreaths. That was completely different, as you said before. <laughs> one, one wreath, two wreaths. One wreath, two wreaths. No, 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 not reeds. Wreaths. Wreaths. Yeah, it's a bit of a mouthful. One wreath, two wreaths. Yeah. Yeah. Glad we got it. Are you ready, Gallies? Oh, well done, we found it. Obviously we need babies to help us. Yeah, but that's the thing we're going to do last. The star is the last thing you've got to put on. Hello, I'm a silly boy. Hello, I'm a silly boy. Hello, are you sure you don't want to help us? I'm all right. I'm holding the camera. Yeah. Why is it always so difficult to untangle them? That looks spooky. No, it doesn't. It does? What is it? It's a fairy. She needs a haircut, this fairy. No. Why would you put a fairy on a Christmas tree? Well, we're good. It looks pretty. Well, I don't know. <laughs> So 
the Christmas tree is finished. I ended up pretty much doing most of it by myself, but hey, it's looking nice. So we do not go for fancy decorations at the moment because we have two young girls who are not the best with taking care of. We try to keep it very personal and every year I give the girls two new decorations for the tree so we go out and we buy them. It's a little bit of a mix of different styles but uh, you can see there's some really cute ones. I think this was from my mum. Got a little reindeer down here. And then I love these. My friend gave these to the girls for Christmas last year. We've got a little Mr. Santa here. And these cute little ones, look. I even have this. This is super cute. This is probably my favorite decoration. That's my friend Charlie gave me this. It's a little Bodum French press. That's really pretty, but that the light. You don't like that one? Yeah, because inside it, it's really broken, this one. I know. You know, that one's broken. That's one of the actual only nice decorations we own. It was a glass one, and this is what happens. Hence why the rest are made out of plastic. And what have you got on your foot? Well, I, I broke my leg. So you put a Christmas stocking on? Yeah. It actually fits you. Looks good. I'm in a bit of a panic because I have so many presents to wrap and I've run out of wrapping paper. I made some before and the guys from Chateau DIY from Channel 4 were here to film it. But unfortunately I've run out. So I am going to do some more. So my plan is to use my wallpaper stamps. This is the one from the Chambre Doré. I've got some leftover paint, some more of my brown craft paper. And I'm hoping because it's a nice big stamp, I should be able to cover quite a lot of the surface quickly. It might seem a little bit crazy using my wallpaper print to make some wrapping paper for Christmas, but sometimes when you have no time and it's a bit of an emergency, that's when you have to get creative. And who knows, maybe it will turn out really cool. Or maybe it will be a mess. We'll have to see. So, here it goes. I'm not sure if I can jump up on this table, it's not really stable, it's like a temporary situation. <laughs> so I'm going to just do it with my hands. Frustrations. Oh, it's not enough. <laughs> do you know what? I think I might call Philip in to give me a hand. I'm going to put this now on the floor because I think that's the only way to do this. You called me? Yep, I need you. Oh yeah, of course you need me, it's printing. <laughs> get I over get... there, please. What? I need you to help me, I need to put this on the floor, quick. Oh, I thought you want me to. No, no. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, ow. Right. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Why are you making a wallpaper just before Christmas? I'm not making wallpaper, it's wrapping paper. Wrapping paper? Yeah. Ah. You know the thing you wrap Christmas presents with? Yeah, I've heard about that. Not that you ever wrap any presents, but... I do. No, you do, I do. not. You do man wrapping. Man wrapping. That's so sexy, Dana. How much do you need? Hmm. Well, I have quite a lot of presents, so... Oh. <laughs> nice to hear. They're well, not all for you, though. Most of them for the girls. Oh. How many exactly? Um, I think I've got three things for you. How many things have you got for me? I'm not going to tell you. It's a present. It's, it's a, a surprise. surprise. Yes. Yeah. It's such a surprise that even I don't know yet what it is. <laughs> so I'm going to wrap my mum's present. I know what this is. A new drone. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You wish. It's exactly the size of a new drone. Is it? Well, you should know. It's not for you. It's not for me? No. It's for my mum. Oh. I'm happy with that. It's really simple but pretty. 
two done. And I have the essentials. Ah, good idea. So, uh, you open it. Mm, it's starting to feel so festive in here. Finally. <laughs> cheers, darling. Cheers, my love. And cheers to all of you. Cheers. Thank you for supporting us this year, for watching, for liking, for commenting. Subscribing, commenting. Yeah. Clicking on the bell. <laughs> and if you haven't done it, the bell here or here. <laughs> yeah, helps with the algorithm. Absolutely. <laughs> No, but we've really enjoyed having you guys come along with us and uh, can't wait for the next year. So Merry Christmas and have a great holiday. Merry Christmas. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers Sante. Again. Sante. Tumbol. One last thing. I, I do not vouch for this Christmas tree. Look at this. I suggested something elegant and distinguished yet relaxed and unpretentious. And then I came up with this. It should not be in a chateau. What do you think about this Christmas tree? Oh, well, it's pretty. Is it pretty? Do you think a skiing rabbit belongs in a Christmas tree in a chateau? Yes? What's that? If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. For exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates, have a look at our Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching.